Hello everybody, it's me Aaron Collins and this is another rendition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. Initially, I don't want to say anything else about this case, but I feel, I would feel remiss if I didn't say anything, try to get some kind of closure. This is about the whole Kanika Jenkins case. Now, I've been watching how things are unfolding, and what I'm seeing so far, I don't like it. And I'll tell you why. This young lady hasn't been cold in the ground for a month, and you got all kind of people coming out with all kinds of videos and theories as to what's in the videos. I'm sure by now everyone has already seen the video of Kanika stumbling through the hall in a daze, in a drunken daze, high, whatever. And people have come up with all kinds of conspiracy theories as to that's not the real Kanika and there is someone else in the video. The point is this young lady is no longer here with us. She died tragically, and she's not here to defend herself. My thing is this. She was at a party full of people, because yes, I saw that video too. She was with a bunch of other people. How is it that she was seen by herself stumbling through a hallway. Why wasn't there anyone with her? Why did they leave her in the hallway by herself or why did they let her leave the room? You see, none of us were at the party. All we can go by is what we see in the video. Another thing I have to ask, seeing that it's obvious footage from the hotel, security cameras, well, I'm sure that there was someone watching those cameras at the time. Why didn't anyone go down there to see if she was okay? To see if she needed something? She needed some kind of aid? You know, these are questions, and to me, these are some legitimate questions. So far, though, what I'm seeing involved in this case is a whole bunch of selfish people just coming out of the woodworks. You got this activist in Chicago named Jedediah Brown. You know, apparently he's been in the spotlight lately because apparently he's got some charges of molestation. A cousin of his, a, rel a relative says that her name is Asia Love. She came, she came out of the woodwork and said that Jedediah allegedly molested her son and uh, so a whole lot of mess going on with that and, and then another source says that they have audio evidence that Jedediah was going to commit suicide okay because apparently cause Jedediah Brown's apparently the one who allegedly ordered the, for the video footage of Kanika but um, my thing is this is that whether he did these things or not, what does this have to do with Kanika Jenkins? Has absolutely nothing to do with it. See, people are coming out with all these little. They, basically, it's basically like I said in the last video I did about Kanika. Folks are coming out with their own. They want their little 15 seconds, and they're using this girl's death as a catalyst to for profit, to to get themselves known, to get views. And that to me is just not right. It's just not right. And I mean, her mom supposedly was working with Jedediah as far as getting stuff prepared and with, with the video and the police and with the footage. Now she's coming out saying that he's stealing money from the donations. I mean, it's, it's just a big mess that's going on. In the meantime, though, I still don't believe 
that the case has been solved on how this young lady was, was found dead in the first place. Now, got videos of the inside of the party, this young lady named a uh, person of, question, of interest named Monifa Shelton, who was said to be a friend of Kanika's and so on. And she was also said that have actually worked at the hotel, the Crown Plaza in Rosemont. They're going off of some reflection in her glasses. People are saying that they could see like what appears to be a struggle. Now I've seen the video and also there was a little faint sound of someone saying help me. Okay, yeah, I heard that also. Now it begin it does make me wonder. But like I was saying before, the eerie thing about this whole thing is the image of this young woman stumbling through the hall. See, it kind of brings, it should bring tears to people's eyes. Because to me, we're literally sitting here watching the last few minutes of this young woman's life on earth unfold before our eyes. That right there should be what people need to be concerned about. Folks don't need to be concerned about shadowy figures in videos and that's not the real Kanika Jenkins, that's a an actor or whatever. I mean, I think it's very disrespectful of this young woman's death for people to be come out and doing these things. Now, th this is just my two cents I'm putting in it. This is how I feel about the whole thing. And then and, and then something else all together and I'm going to cover this in the next video. You got these people, young ladies and men, doing something called the, <clears throat> the hashtag dick challenge. I'm going to cover that, though, in the next video. Because, see, it's no longer about Kanika. Now it's not about, it's only, it's about them now. See, everybody wants to get their 15 seconds. Everyone wants to be seen. Everyone wants the people to, the, they, they want the spotlight. Everyone's like, look at me. So, anyway, everyone, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. This is all I want to say about this Kanika Jenkins case. Let this young lady rest in peace. She's no longer here with us. She's not going to be able to say what really happened. She's not going to be able to do any of that. She's now somewhere, somewhere in his memory. My only thing is, is I wonder, my question is, wonder what condition was her soul in? Because ultimately, it is a sad case. And then, thank you, another thing I want to even mention. Matter of fact, I'll go over this in the next video about the people protesting and the hotel, folks on camera twerking. It, I mean... We got to do better than this, y'all. Got to do better. But anyway, R.I.P. Kanika Jenkins, you're gone far too soon. Only 19 years old. Hadn't even really begun to experience life. Anyway, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit the bell icon on the side to be notified, put you in the notifications. Remember everyone, God loves you, I love you, let's do life.